Now that I've given you these first two principles, let me challenge you for a moment and give you a more contemporary example, which is a bit more difficult. At the time this took place, back in the 1980s, uh, Pepsi had a promotional campaign. You've seen these kinds of things. And what you could do is with each bottle of Pepsi, I think it was in the, uh, the bottle top cap, uh, you get a Pepsi point. And with Pepsi points, you could bind stuff, uh, a keychain, and for a lot of Pepsi points, uh, several hundred, you could even get a leather jacket with a Pepsi logo on the back. And uh, what you would do is you'd collect your Pepsi points, maybe get some from your friends. You go to a catalog, you pick out the stuff you want, you send it an order form, and there you go. So this all played out over TV. Let me show you the clip. Introducing the new Pepsi Stuff Catalog. Now, the more Pepsi you drink, the more great stuff you're going to get. Sure beats the bus. <laughs> At the time, this ad was very well known. And what happened was that this guy, Leonard, a real wise guy, uh, figured, you know, a Harrier jet, that's pretty cool. You can top up your Pepsi points, the commercial said, like frequent flyer miles, at 10 cents a point. And a Harrier jet, according to the ad, only was worth 7 million Pepsi points. That's $700,000. Well, I had a couple of Pepsi points from drinking Pepsi, and I could top it off, he thought, with $700,000. And there I am, and I get a jet fighter. Now, of course, a jet fighter like that, even in those days, went for about $21 million, and now it's probably more like a quarter of a billion, but whatever. So Leonard gets together with a bunch of friends also wise guys, and they put together $700,000. They go to a bank and get a certified check for $700,000 made out to Pepsi points. And you know, a certified check is as good as money. And they send that in to Pepsi on the order form. They add, they write in, because there's no space for Harrier jets, one Harrier jet, uh, 7 million Pepsi points. Well, what do you think Pepsi does? Pepsi says, I'm sorry, but you didn't understand. That wasn't meant as a serious offer. That wasn't meant as a serious promise. So here's your check back, thanks very much. Leonard and his friends more or less expected that this is what would happen. And the next step they take is they get a lawyer, also a wise guy, and they sue Pepsi. They sue Pepsi, I suppose, to either force Pepsi to deliver a Harrier jet, which they can't possibly do, or for the difference between $700,000 and the value of the Harrier jet, which is real money. They go from one court to another. They start out in courts in Florida, where none of them live. The Florida courts buck it up to New York. And in New York, this is what the judge says. Plaintiff's insistence, that's Leonard and his wise guy friends, that the commercial appears to be a serious offer requires the court to explain why the commercial is funny. Explaining why a joke is funny is a daunting task. As the essayist E.B. White has remarked, humor can be dissected as a frog can, but the thing dies in the process. The commercial is the embodiment of what defendant appropriately characterizes as zany humor. 
In light of the obvious absurdity of the commercial, the court rejects Leonard's argument that the commercial was not clearly in jest.